It's important to cite your sources when you're doing an academic assignment so that whoever's reading it, like your professor or your TA or other students, when they're reading it, they'll know the information that's yours and the information that you're getting from outside sources like articles or books or even other internet sources. It's important when you're citing sources to show evidence of academic honesty because your professor needs to know that you aren't just taking this from another website, you're not copying and pasting this. As a faculty member and a scholar, citing sources allows me to acknowledge the other people who are participating in the discussion that, uh, on the topic that I'm researching. For students, of course, it's, it's uh, very important to cite sources because uh, we uh, faculty members want to know uh, what it is, in fact, that you have read and you may need to make it abundantly clear to us where you have uh, an original idea and where you are using somebody else's ideas to develop your own. If you cite all of your sources, it makes sure that you avoid being accused of plagiarism and it also follows York University's academic integrity policy, which is the standard in scholarship. Quote it, cite it, because um, it shows that you, you're, you're being honest. You have to be honest because you could be like called in for like plagiarism. It's the fair thing to do. It's giving credit to other people for the work that they've done that's helped shape my work. Um, and it's a standard in academic work. Think about, about it in terms of um, students today uh, blogging or tweeting. They wouldn't take someone else's tweet and send it out as their own, and that's why there's the retweet function, right? You wouldn't reblog a blog that wasn't your own content. And in fact, if you did that online, the blogosphere would really tear you apart. When um, there are questions of plagiarism, uh, very often the student's defense was, I didn't know, I thought I was presenting my own, my own idea. And, and I think that that is a sincere defense in many cases, but it's not an acceptable one. Do not be tempted to like copy something off the internet because chances are they will find out. You won't be the first one to have done it, you'll get caught. Tracking sources is the initial step and it's really important because it's only if you've accurately recorded what you've consulted that you're in a position later on to prepare your bibliography. So tracking sources seems irritating and meticulous and picky at the outset, but it's a crucial step. And it actually saves you time to do it as you go along. I can find the tools on the library site, and usually there's uh, tools like RoughWorks or Zotero, and those help you to keep track of all your information and to cite them properly, making sure you're using the proper styles. I find one of the best things that students can do is to create um, something like an annotated bibliography. So they, they have the reference right there, they summarize the article right there, so the two things are related together. I also think that, um, that uh, students start their papers too late. <laughs> and this is, uh, I think that this is something that will be echoed by all of my colleagues. Students too often start writing the paper the night before it's due, or even, even the week before it's due. Sometimes that's just not enough to, uh, to really uh, to get to know the body of works uh, that are relevant to your uh, research and uh, to then uh, move from the research stage to the writing stage in an organized way. If you ever have any questions about the citation style, you can always go to your professor, your TA, there's the writing center, or even ask a librarian.